All right, future rocket scientists, we are going to add Apple into our game panel. Now, I already created Apple for you. Apple is very similar to Snake, and I thought it would be really repetitive. It's essentially the same exact code as Snake, except we added uh, that it is red, and its, its width and height is set, so it's not gonna be changing as much, but our location is still going to be based on this because we don't want it to be occurring in the same spot as our snake. So, though we will eventually want that. So let's get over and we're going to add our snake into our game panel. And where we're first gonna add, do, add this is the same thing that we did for our snake body. We're going to add an array for it. So we are going to grab our, we're gonna take private and we are going to choose apple. Uh, that's the name of our file, and I am going to name the list Apple. So already you can see that it has now been connected over here. And we are going to do private and use an array list. And we are going to take this Apple, and we are going to name that list apples because we already have something that's named apple up here that's just the object apple the list apples is going to help us with spawns and stuff like that all right so now that we have apple over here uh, let's add it into our game panel so inside of our game panel we want to be able to populate apple so we're going to say that apples is equal to a new array list and apple we'll close that up cool so now we have added apple over there and let's see if we want to and all right cool we are going to add it now over to our paint so we'll go down to our paint, and inside of here, we are going to do uh, another for loop so that we can have our apple, and our, our the size of the apple isn't gonna change, but we're just going to continue to draw it as we move through this process. We want it to continue. Uh, we're using I for all of this uh, so that when we repaint, everything is still being painted. And so when our snake moves and our apple is still in that same spot, we want to repaint it in that same spot over and over and over again. So we're keeping it in a for loop. So we're going to keep i is equal to zero. And then we're going to say that i is in the range of apples that size. And we are going to do our same thing over here with our I++. plus plus. All right, so we can open this up. And what we want to do for each of those is apple dot get I. It's the same thing as that we did for the snake. And then dot draw G. So that's using our graphics that we so nicely threw in there. Cool. So now we should have, oh, apples, apples. There we go, cool. All right, let's see. Ooh, we've got something up here, array. All right, compile, compile. Let's run this. We still have no apple yet, so we are going to get there in just a moment. Talk to you soon.